Maayang Aga, good morning and welcome. Survival Arts Academy, we are here on Ohlone territory in the Bay Area at the Bayanihan Community Center in the Mission District. We're so excited to present today. My name is Jamie and here is my sister, Jana Lynn. My name is Jana Lynn Omipe. I currently reside in the Lenape territory where me and Jamie first met. Uh, about nine months now into the work that we've been doing together in collaboration, her and I had a conversation about what it would mean for us to really sit down and integrate our warrior arts with our healing arts and the ancestral learnings that we've been cultivating in our decolonization work individually and how to bring that together in community. Survival arts started in the Philippines, expanded um, to the Tongva territory where I'm currently residing in the LA area and now with this amazing synergy between myself and my sister Jenna Lynn, we have really opened up the doors to invite all kinds of folks to walk with us as we take on this warrior and healer journey. Our work together has really expanded from New York um, to our retreat in Long Beach and now to San Francisco where we are today. And we're excited to say that this is our second all day training retreat and it will definitely not be our last. We have much more in store for our family. And also looking ahead, um, we plan on being in the Philippines in 2020. So looking forward to February and having our retreat in the motherland, you know, really connecting to our roots and our ancestral healing. It's really difficult to explain what it is that happens in our circles and retreats. Yeah. So the best thing that we can say is that we invite all of our cis, trans, and non-gender binary family to come through and be in circle with us and cultivate this learning that we're developing with every single person that comes in with their lessons and their lived understandings of what it means to be in a time of decolonization, we're really trying to step into our liberation in a good way. Our groups are mostly um, Pinayas and women of color, and we're really working in terms of how to protect our bodies, how to connect with our bodies, and also how to weaponize our bodies and understand how to get out of a situation of danger or violence. So the extension of the ideas of what it means to cultivate survival knowledge is not just about the physical body, it's also about the spirit and the mentality. So we do a lot of work that has to do with decolonization, understandings and structures. Uh, and a lot of that pedagogy comes from the work that I've been doing with the Center for Bobyland Studies for almost a decade now. So we do a lot of mental work with our family about what it means for us to confront those things, be in relation with those things consistently, because we have a really strong belief that the warrior and the healer both are not reactionary to the world that is violent against them, but we're in relation to it. It's been really important to bring in the work that is necessary for our family to heal their spirits. So we do a lot of release work. We do a lot of work that has to do with the energy that is kept in our bodies around trauma. We do a lot of work that has to do with rebuilding relation between women, uh, between our families, between us and uh, those that have caused us harm, learning how to really utilize that warrior energy in our bodies and protect ourselves and our families. Yeah. Yeah. And so now that we're really um, you know, diving deep into this work, we've also realized the need to go back, right? And go back to the motherland and to keep that connection alive and steady. And so um, we have this incredible trip planned um, for February 2020, and it's the first of our kind. So we're really excited to present this to the community. It's gonna be such a learning experience, um, a liberation experience, and a transformative warrior journey for us all as we go back to the motherland. And basically, JL and I are going to be facilitating 10 days of intensive survival arts training. What we're asking from our community is for solidarity. And solidarity in the form of exchange, because we live in a capitalistic world and it takes a lot for us to be able to cultivate this work in a good way. And so a part of the things that we're looking for from our community in relation to this retreat is the extension of being able to support some of the women who are really vying to return back to the motherland with community for that healing and fortifying work. Uh, to be able to be supported monetarily. So we're asking folks to you know, offer, to lay down an offering for a sister, for a family, for a kapwa, to come through to the Philippines with us. Give what you can. Every bit counts because we don't want to be in a position where we can't extend this invitation to any of our sisters and family who want to come through. Yeah. You know? yeah. 
not being able to have the means um, shouldn't be you know something that holds you back from really rooting back into this work so you know we are extending that invitation for folks who have asked us how can we support you from afar this is how we're asking to support the work by sponsoring one of our sisters to go on this healing training mm -hmm. retreat. It's going to be a very intensive but also small um, group of folks. And so we're looking to help, you know, like push our sisters who have been training with us um, all this time and help give them the means to go out there and do this work even deeper than they've already done. So we ask that when you contribute and lay down an offering for a family, a kapwa to come through on this trip, that you also lay down some words of support and encouragement that show your solidarity and relationship to our women. And let them know that we're rising together, that even if you're not directly in the circle with us because of the very specific work that we do, that you are with us in spirit and that we're gonna rise together. Thank you so much and we appreciate everyone who has supported this mission so far. We look forward to continuing and expanding further and further.